Are you worried about today's dire financial situation? Put simply, I would argue the Biden economic plan is working. The storms on Wall Street continue today after regulators seized the assets of Silicon Valley Bank, marking the largest bank failure since the 2008 financial crisis. Do you worry you'll have enough to pay your mortgage, pay your children's college tuition, enough to retire? I believe our banking system remains strong. Regional banks in focus once again today as the market digests the fallout of the First Republic failure. You have questions, we have answers. It's the Gold Standard with Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn. Back together again. It is the Gold Standard Radio Show with Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn. Glad to be back with you, my friend, Ken. You know, I was a little under the weather, but we made it back just in the nick of time to celebrate together this weekend. Yes, and I'm so happy to be here as usual, Jen. So happy to see you on uh, Sunday, and, and let's do it. Let's do it. All right. And so we always start things off. This week is going to be really special because we are going to go through some of the biggest questions that we get from people like you who are listening to this program. But before we do, it's always important to set the stage as to how we got into the financial mess, the shakiness that we're in today. And for us, we must go back to 1971, the year with President Richard Nixon at the helm. And uh, he created this fiat experiment that Ken is failing today. Mr. President, what happened in 1971? Well, I am not a crook, no matter what you say. I don't care. I am not a crook. But, you know, our, our pre premise, what, Jen, is that we, we have all this funny money. Uh, the dollar's dying because the uh, uh, government is printing more money and more money and more money. And what was the, the famous line that he said? Well, for the benefit of the American citizen and for the volatility <laughs> goes down and the dollars are no longer convertible into gold. You know, all that other, what do they call it? BS, right? Right. <laughs> you know, it, it gave the bankers a way to print unlimited money. And we're, we're starting to see how that ultimately ends for any fiat currency. And that's what it is. It's a fiat currency, which means the dollar is no longer backed by anything. It used to be backed by a certain amount of gold, but because they needed to print so much of it, and basically over the last 30, 40 years, it's been a fake market. It's, a, it's fake growth. It's a banking system that's hanging by a, a, a thread because it's so leveraged and, and stretched. And quite frankly, we are entering, Jen, a debt crisis. Mm -hmm. and, and the question is, is how could you protect yourself from being financially ruined when this all comes down? And folks, you know, like George Carlin used to say, it's a big party and you're not invited. Well, and that's just it. The global elites, the leaders in our country. Look, we all have political opinions around here, but Democrats and Republicans in this country are doing everything they can to spend all the money and not have anything to uh, to refill the coffers. And they're doing that with your money. So we always tell you, if you want to take the responsibility away from the government, put it back into your hands so that you can protect, take action and protect all that money you've worked so hard to earn, you need to call our friends over at Midas Gold Group. 322 Gold is the number. That's 855 322 Gold. 855 322 Gold for Midas Gold Group. Gold, by the way, if you need us to give you the numerical conversion, 855 322 4653. Because you want to have that personal responsibility back. You want to make sure that you're not just trusting Richard Nixon, Barack Obama, and Joe Biden with uh, where the dollar sits today. So 855 322 4653. 6653. Are you ready, Ken? Are you ready to answer some questions today? Yeah, let's do it. Let's so do it. And actually, we, Mitch McConnell's here. You know, and he wanted to answer the first question, you know, the uh, Senate Minority Leader, right? Yeah, Republican what's your favorite the, color, Mitch? I think that's the first question. <laughs> Bipartisan. <laughs> Yeah. I like br 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 bipartisan. Yeah. That's the only one he manages to slither well, out. Let's, right? let's go over real quick the political environment. We don't know the government has 40 days worth of uh, operations left, right? Until That's it has it. to. Yeah. And then it's going to run out of money again. So that means the Ukraine funds are going to dry up and there's there's no speaker. And let's get back to it. I mean, we've printed two trillion or spent two trillion this year, two trillion deficit, one trillion in the last three months. Let's get back to it, boys. 
more spending. Spending away is what I think is the is the theme, certainly in Congress. All right, so we've got Mitch McConnell's thoughts about some of these things. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Jen? Let's talk about Sylvester. Yes. Sylvester in Phoenix asks this question to you, Ken. Why is the huge debt of the United States a potential problem? Well, it's a big one. Yeah, it is. And it's at at the basis of what we're talking about. And and not to mention now that interest rates are at like a, you know, 17 or an 18 year high. This is a real, real problem. Um, It's a problem for the government because they have to print a lot of money. But our interest payments are now almost a trillion dollars a year. Um, this, This debt eventually has to be refinanced at much, much higher rates. We will enter a debt crisis. So if the government is drowning in debt and they're barely hanging on and the only thing they can do is take out more debt and it's going exponential, I mean, what do you think is going to happen to the power and the value of our currency, you know, that's supposed to be backed by the promise and the full-fledged promise of the government to repay these debts? They're never going to repay these debts. So it's important because, you know, more than likely the debt situation, Jen, is going to crash everything. And the banking system's hanging on by a thread. The government's hanging on by a thread. Our dollar's hanging on by a thread. And quite frankly, it's it's at a point of no return. So my my suggestion is to distance yourself from that debt crisis that's inevitable. Get some money out of the bank and get some money out of the markets before you no longer can do it, period. I love this. Now, you're listening to the Gold Standard Radio Show. Ken Russo, Jennifer Horn. You can contribute, by the way, if you want to ask some questions for future shows, because we're going to do these mailbag shows every once in a while. We'll reach into the old email coffers and see what comes out. Info at MidasGoldGroup.com is the email address. You can ask it. Ask any question, get them answered. Info at MidasGoldGroup.com. And you can always call Midas for all the information you need on bringing gold and precious metals home to you and to your family. 855-322-GOLD, 855-322-4653. Gloria in Riverside has a great question. It seems basic, but it's so true. Ken, she wants to know, where does our money come from? Now, the last time my mom told me, she told me it did not come from trees, that our money does not grow on trees. Can you confirm that? I don't have a money tree in my yard. I wish I did. Yeah, but our money comes out of thin air, Gloria. You know, they <laughs> uh, they print bonds out of thin air, and then they send those fake bonds to the Treasury, and then the Treasury makes fake money. And then the Fed, you know, writes checks out of a fake fake account to buy those Treasuries, and they put them on their fake balance sheet to support this whole fake system. But I'll tell you what, the results are going to be very real. So the question is, is how much of your money, your fake money, can you protect, turn it into something real like gold and silver and be able to survive this financial crisis when it comes and it is coming, folks? And you can feel it coming. I mean, one of the things we talk about is that the banks, six of them already this year, have collapsed. We know that the dollar is being devalued. The spending, forget it, is out of control. I mean, it's almost like they're drooling to spend even more money. And at this point, they're not even really spending real money. They're just racking up more debt. And it is a dangerous time. 855-322-4653. 855-322-GOLD. All right, Jake in Lubbock, Texas. All right. I like Texas, right? All right. So Jake wants to know, Ken, what does it mean that the U.S. dollar is fiat money? And he's got a two part question. We'll get to a second part in just a minute. But what does it mean that the U.S. dollar is fiat money? Well, fiat currency means it's not backed by a hard asset. If you look at some of these other countries that we've been talking about the last uh, few months, like the BRIC nations, Brazil, uh, Russia, uh, China, uh, India, and so on, South uh, South Africa, and a lot of these other countries that are joining BRICS, they have um, uh, an idea of creating their own currency that's actually backed by real stuff like gold, silver, oil, and, and stuff like that. Our money's backed by nothing. It's backed by debt. And I would challenge anybody right now to even go on Google and punch in, what is the biggest asset of the United States, and it's going to come up student loans. It's a Mm. disaster. It's a sham. It's a Ponzi scheme. Yes, we've gotten some good things out of this. We've been able to build a military. We've been able to build airports and infrastructure. But folks, it's coming home to roost. The bubble is as big as it's ever been. And quite frankly, it's inevitably going to pop. Well, and I did enjoy this past week watching uh, our buddy, 
Chairman Joe, as I like to call him, but President Biden, as some others may call him, talking about more student aid, student loan relief. I mean, this is how they try to get your votes in an election year. It's like the talk of student loan relief, uh, debt relief comes up as the uh, poll yeah, numbers right. start to go down, right? What's that, Joe? You want to answer the next question? Joe's he right does. here. He wants to answer the next you question. you got to ask the question because he was trying to give the website for student aid this week, and he was telling people oh. to go to studentrelief.forward-slash-aid-gov. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> student dash demand dementia dash mental you know infirmary <laughs> dash you know fall down forward slash ding dong that's my yes. favorite <laughs> all right so should we ask joe the next yeah question? real quick let's uh, let's uh, let's see what he thinks all right so this is part two from jake in lubbock texas and so he asked about fiat money now he wants to know is silver a better investment than gold you can buy silver <laughs> it won't cost you anything <laughs> you can get as much as you want by the way I don't know where I am. I'm reading off of a teleprompter. And my son, Hunter Biden, did nothing wrong. Where's the money? Where's the money, right? Yeah, thanks, Joe. Do you want to take a sniff of my hair, Joe, before you go? Take a little sniff? You know, the the political (laughs) leadership that we have, it just makes me want to get in the car right now, run down to the bank, and take all my money out while I still can. That's how it makes me feel. But what was the question? The Jake question said, is again was, silver is a better silver investment? a better investment than gold? Yes. Well, if you if you look at the price of gold right now of, of around 1800 and you look at the price of silver a little over $20, I mean, uh, it, the ratio is over 80. Um, historically, it should probably be 10, 15. They take about seven times the amount of silver out of the ground each year versus gold. So the ratio is very much upside down. And if gold does well, which we expect to, you know, when it reflects the loss of purchasing power of our paper dollar, because the dollar is dying, folks, uh, silver should do two times, maybe three times better. But it's a heavily manipulated uh, commodity. The banks obviously control trillions of dollars of derivatives, and their intention is to show you that gold and silver is a waste of time. Uh, See, it's not going up. Uh, Make sure you keep your money in the banking system and keep your money in the markets, because we all know, Jen, what happens when people pull their money out of the banks in in mass, and when they pull their money out of the markets in mass, they crash, and because they're insolvent. Now, we're going to talk about a silver product when we come back. We've got that. Plus, you can submit your questions in Info at MidasGoldGroup.com and call Midas today, 855-322-GOLD. More up ahead, it's the Gold Standard Radio Show with Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn. Dr. Gorka here. You're listening to the Gold Standard with your hosts, Ken Russo from veteran-owned Midas Gold Group and Jennifer Horn. Owning private money in the form of physical gold and silver is perhaps more important than ever to your long-term financial security. As U.S. banks fail, the Biden administration sends hundreds of billions abroad while depleting our strategic oil reserves. However, the biggest financial threat may be coming from within central bank digital currency. The patents have been filed and the big banks have released plans for implementation. Midas Gold Group sees tyrannical implications, the end of cash, the end of financial privacy, big government able to see your every purchase. Could there be ties to social credit? Hear more commentary on the political and economic issues that affect your financial security right here on the Gold Standard. You can create your own Gold Standard with a call to Midas Gold Group, 855 322 gold that's 855 322 4653 midasgoldgroup.com Welcome back. It is a gold standard radio show. Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn, happy to be with you. And we're having some fun today, Ken. We are going through some of the emails that I'm old fashioned. I call it the mailbag, but emails that we've received from listeners just like you who might be at home going, gosh, I want more information about some of the stuff these guys talk about. Ken seems so smart. What else do I need to know about gold and precious metals? And if you want to talk to Ken and the folks over at Midas Gold Group, do it right now. 855 to gold 855-322-4653 that is the number for Midas Gold Group call them anytime or you can email info at midasgoldgroup.com 
And uh, and Ken, before the break, we got this this email from Jake in Lubbock, Texas, about whether or not silver is a better investment than gold. From your perspective, it's just a different investment, but it's still a good one to consider. And you've got a product in studio today that's absolutely incredible. You've got the Silver Eagle here today. Yeah, and we kind of ran out of time a little bit there, but silver is an industrial metal, you know, Jen. So a lot of the silver that is, uh, you know, it's used up, you know, mm-hmm. in cell phones and uh, uh, solar panels and electric cars and that sort of thing. But the Silver American Eagle is the only silver coin made by the United States that has a monetary value tied to it. Um, It's legal tender. A lot of states uh, are starting to see gold and silver uh, as legal tender by passing certain bills and laws. Um, I would say that we're going to see more and more of that as gold and silver, in my opinion, is going to be a much bigger part of the next financial system. And I think that the one ounce Silver American Eagle, keep it basic, keep it American, it should be a standard uh, part of any precious metal portfolio. In my opinion, where the prices are right now, uh, my favorite coin to own when it comes to silver. I love that. All right. So a great endorsement for the Silver Eagle. And you can get that and uh, everything else, all the questions that you have answered. Veteran owned. They are true America First Patriots, 855-322-GOLD from Midas Gold Group, 855-322-4650. 53. Okay, back to our emails here. Cliff in Whittier, California, not too far from us today, Ken, said, I saw banks fail this past March. Is that issue fixed? And are the banks really safe? Issues not fixed, Cliff. It's actually worse than it was then because interest rates are higher now. So all of the banks' uh, investments in bonds and uh, uh, commercial real estate, they're really sucking wind, and um, they're underwater. I saw a note today from the FDIC. This sums it up, Jen. There's 4,645 federally insured commercial banks. Those banks hold $7.1 trillion of uninsured deposits. The four biggest banks hold 59% or over $4 trillion of uninsured deposits. And those names include J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Citigroup. It All is a very dangerous, dangerous situation. And remember, Jen, we had the Dodd-Frank Act passed uh, in 2010, which is which outlawed uh, bailouts. So these banks are not supposed to be bailed out anymore. They're supposed to be bailed in. And I'll tell you what, when some of these banks fail and they actually take people's money, you know, our deposits, people are going to run for the hills yeah. and they are going to freak out. And I see that happening pretty soon. And that's so scary because if you need to get a hold of your money and you can't, then what do you do? That's the problem. Yeah. 855-322-GOLD. That's a number for Midas Gold Group. Info at MidasGoldGroup.com if you want to submit an email for us to answer on a future program. But you've got to help me out with this because Linda has me stumped too, Ken. Linda in Phoenix, Arizona, where we have an office. You can come see us face to face at Midas Gold Group in Phoenix or in Thousand Oaks, California. Linda says, my advisor said I can own gold in an ETF. Is that a good way to own gold? Tell me what an ETF is, Ken. Well, it's a uh, electronic traded fund. No, okay. it's not a good way to own gold or silver because it's paper. Our our feeling is the only way to get wealth preservation with gold and silver is to own it, own it in tangible form, in bars or coins, um, outside of the banking system. Remember, Linda, you're trying to distance yourself from the problems that the bank is going to have. You're trying to distance yourself from this chaos that's happening with our politicians and with the banking system and the economy and the markets on a whole. And the only way that you can do that is to separate yourself, own physical gold and silver in your own possession where you can get to it when you need to. Yeah, that's really the important part is you're taking everybody else out of the equation. You're just leaving it up to yourself to have that that you can hold on to something that is real that's in your own possession. And that kind of leads to our next question, Ken. And you're listening to the Gold Standard Radio Show. Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn, happy to be with you. Uh, Herb in Orange County asked this question. He says, are bars or coins a better way 
to own gold and silver. And I think a lot of people get confused about what is the best form of gold or silver to own. Ken, what's your advice? Well, a, a coin is a bullion coin. A bar is a bullion bar. Uh, but the coin does have a monetary. It does have a monetary value um, attached to it. So, in in essence, by definition, it's money. It's legal tender. Um, coins usually cost a little bit more per ounce than bars do. But in a good market for gold and silver, they will appreciate at a much greater pace than a bar would. Um, if you look at bars, it's a good way to own gold and silver. You get a little bit more metal for your money. Um, they're made for the most part by private companies, not government mints. Um, both are good. Both have pros or cons. If the prices of the coins are close to the prices of the bars, I would prefer Gen the coin any day because, in my opinion, it's a little bit closer to the definition of real money. Of real money, right. And yeah. they're so pretty. Not the gold bars. Believe me, I'm not turning down a gold bar. But the coins are so beautiful. And it, you're right. It feels like real money. The senator from New Jersey didn't like to turn down <laughs> gold bars either. Yeah. I was going to bring him up. Mm -hmm. Senator Menendez. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he had the money stashed. Not a client pockets. of Midas Gold Group. No. Not a client of Midas Gold Group. Not a client of Midas no. Gold Group. We can be sure of that. No. But you can be yes. if you'd like. We have a lot of fun. That's for sure. Midas Gold Group has a lot of fun. Even though this is a really serious topic, you can call and talk to real people. That's why I love to work with Midas Gold Group because these are real individuals who can give you real advice to help you through real life. Not a call center. Real people. Here's what you need to do. 855-322-GOLD. Give them a call today. 855-322-4653. Find out how you can add gold and precious metals to your investment portfolio. 855-322-4653. All right. Let's sneak in a couple more questions. Yeah, let's Ken do a Roger. Couple quick ones. Yeah. Roger. 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 In Oxnard is wondering, um, are we going to need gold and silver to barter with when the financial system goes down? Well, you know, perfect storm right now here, Jen. Another article today. The perfect storm hits big banks, tumbling deposits, rising unrealized losses, and higher for longer interest rates. So that's the environment. The Fed is taking down what they blew up. They're deflating the same bubble that they inflated. That's the way it goes. Will we, th will we have to barter? I don't think so. I think that we're just holding gold and silver for a way to hold on to our purchasing power, our buying power. I think gold and silver will allow us to escape the destruction of the financial system and our dollar pretty much unscathed. It'll hold on to our purchasing power. If we need gold and silver to barter, who knows? Better to have it rather than not. I don't think it's going to play out that way, but we'll have to see. All right. And I want to get this one in because I think this is a really important one. It's one I get asked a lot just from hosting this program with you, Ken. Harvey in Scottsdale asks, most of my money is in an IRA. Can I diversify some of that into gold? With how risky the stock market is, Harvey, and, and how big the bond market bubble is and it's popping, I, I think that it would be very smart to, to distance yourself from, from the inevitable result of that. Most people have a lot of the, uh, money in their retirement account, whether it be an IRA, an old 401k, a 457, 403b. It would be a good idea to diversify. You can convert some of those paper assets into tangible gold and silver assets. It'll be there. It's not part of the banking system. System. And in my opinion, for anybody that has a large amount of their money in a retirement account, it's more important today than ever. Okay, one more question. This is really good, Ken. We're just going through these. Yes. Irma in Corona says, who do I sell my gold to if I need money? Well, any gold and silver dealer, you know, hopefully you give Midas Gold Group your first shot. We buy and sell uh, gold and silver every day, platinum and palladium as well. It's very liquid. Gold and silver's money. Uh, it's a store of value uh, over time. And more importantly, it's uh, convertible back to whatever form of living expense money exists at that time. So I would say uh, one of the reasons why you own gold and silver, Jen, is because it's so liquid and easily convertible back to living expense money. Yeah. Yeah, you can buy it and sell it as needed. And if you have questions, if you want to be part of our next show where we go through some of these listener emails, all you have to do is email info at MidasGoldGroup.com. That's info, I-N-F-O, at MidasGoldGroup.com. And, Ken, this has been really fun. want to remind all of you to, uh, to get gold, get silver, add precious metals to your investment portfolio. Do it with our friends, Midas Gold Group. Incredible. 855-322-GOLD. 
855-322-4653. They are America First Patriots. They are veteran owned. 855-322-GOLD. And Ken Russo, thank you so much for all that great information this week. 855-322-4653. Thanks for joining us. It's a Gold Standard Radio Show with Ken Russo and Jennifer Horn. A reminder, opinions given here are not intended to be specific to your investment strategy, but rather to gather general information to give you a better understanding of investing in precious metals. For answers to all your questions, call Midas Gold Group at 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-GOLD. That's 855-322-4653 or visit MidasGoldGroup.com.